Hello everyone, my name is Lily Rubio and I wanted to do one of my first videos kind of recording my pregnancy and just talk about a little something that I'm going through now at this time and I haven't done any other videos so this is actually my first time like going public with any belly stories or um, anything but I am 38 weeks and my baby is still breech and it was something that I didn't really think about um, I knew that like at 33 weeks I knew he still hadn't turned and um, my husband's an OBGYN and just we were having like a lot of holiday parties and I was around all these doctors and everyone's telling me oh you have time you have time so I just was very hopeful and didn't think about it but here I am 38 weeks almost two weeks away from my due date and the baby still has not turned and so it's like real right now I went to the doctor last Wednesday and he went ahead and scheduled a c-section and I was so scared about that but honestly I'm I'm more scared about just having a big old scar and than I am about the risks of a c-section but um I w was kind of sad about it and I the last couple weeks have been just a little hard I started like reading all the blogs and just seeing like what can I do to make this baby turn I just started getting like a little frantic I ordered the Chinese moxa sticks because I was reading so much about that my sister-in-law told me about it too so I'm like okay at this point I'll try anything you know doing the laying down putting peas on my stomach all kind of things and I was like I found myself stressing out so much about it and then last Sunday I just woke up and I said a little prayer and I just honestly I decided that I'm not going to stress out about this um, I realize that there's so many women that can't even have babies can't even have kids and so the fact that my child does get to be born maybe not in the way that I want it to be I still feel blessed and I'm just I choose to not complain about it and um, just a lot of the things I was reading on these mommy blogs like some moms were like feeling like their child wasn't theirs because they didn't get to experience a whole vaginal or natural delivery and I whatever like I said I feel very grateful that at least I can have a baby and that he gets to come to this world um, either way so I have chosen not to stress about it and I'm not gonna do any of the Chinese stuff or I'm not gonna flip around whatever God wants to happen with this baby will happen and I know that doctors can possibly deliver vaginally breech but um, my doctor doesn't do that and you know it's a little more riskier and I just want to do whatever safest for the baby but um, I feel good other than that little hectic problem I'm 38 weeks and I feel really good and beautiful and I'm so ready anxious to have this baby already I wanted to show you my belly because I know that I always got a lot out of other people's videos when they show their belly because when you're like smaller you just want to see what to expect so I'm going to show you my stomach here is my belly with clothes so it's pretty big I'm getting very um definitely at the uncomfortable um point and then i'll go ahead and show you oh my pants are falling i'll show you the belly without clothes i have been so lucky ladies and gentlemen i did not get any stretch marks um my mom got has a little bit and my sister has a little bit oh my sister really got it bad but i have been spared so i thought i would totally get them and i haven't so thank you i've been blessed um, maybe I'll get them when I lose the weight I don't know but um, I thought it would be I would worry so much about gaining so much weight and getting so big but I actually feel really beautiful and um, I'm not like focusing I, I didn't want to focus on the whole like weight gaining thing and I actually love my belly um, you know <laughs> it's just funny like just watching how your body changes but I've actually embraced it um, definitely these last couple weeks there have been I thought all of my pregnancy symptoms were gone but they're not um, I've recently taken on the sport of snoring I guess yeah at the end you get so like suffocated and you feel kind of like I still get like reflex and stuff and so at night I just my husband actually told me that I snored and then a couple times I have woken myself up like I just sleep and I feel it I'm like oh my gosh so who would have thought pregnancy brought on snoring 
Um, I, so like I said, I do kind of still experience a little bit of reflux, but other than that, most of the symptoms are gone. You do find yourself like <sighs> breathing a lot heavier, feeling contractions. He keeps me up at night, definitely. I feel his big head bulging out and it's a little uncomfortable and painful, but I love it. I know that he's there and I just wish I knew exactly what I was feeling like this big thing I think it's his head or it could be his feet I don't know but so yeah 38 weeks we um, are 10 days away from meeting our son unless something else happens naturally we're scheduled to go in January 20th so I'm very excited I just want to tell anyone else if you're going through the same thing like just don't stress about it be happy that your child's gonna be born in some way and um, don't worry about it. Like I said, I threw away all my remedies and now I'm just focusing on my son and just being happy and I don't wanna be stressed out. And so I'm just putting it in God's hands and hoping for the best. But I hope to do a few more videos after he's born and just kind of share this with everyone because I've actually had the best pregnancy. I could do this 10 times over. Um, except for these last couple weeks, they really do challenge whatever, if you had a great pregnancy, uh, they do really uh, challenge that because it is so uncomfortable and you're just like so ready. But uh, that's it for now, signing off, bye bye. If you have any questions, feel free to write me or ask me anything. Um, yeah, bye.